Developing overnight, Ahmad Arbery's family and their attorneys are calling for a third arrest in the case. They want the man who recorded the graphic video of their son's deadly shooting in jail. His name is William Bryan, who goes by the name Roddy. While it was Bryan who recorded the video on February 23rd, the day of the shooting, this week an Atlanta news station reports that it was Gregory McMichael who actually shared the video with that Georgia radio station. Brunswick attorney Alan Tucker had told News for Jax that he is the one who released it to the public. But now the TV station says Tucker says it was McMichael who released it to clear up rumors circulating in the community. The video, as you know, has sparked nationwide outrage and led to McMichael and his son Travis's arrest. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live from Glynn County and Ashley Bryan's attorney held the news conference with that news late last night. He did and Bryan's attorney says his client is not a vigilante. In fact, he says he and he and his fiance are now in hiding, fearing for their lives. I'll go ahead and step out of the way and just show you the, that the memorial for Ahmad Arbery is still here in the Satilla Shores neighborhood and it continues to grow. And Bryan's attorney says his client is unable to go home because of all the attention surrounding this case. Roddy Bryan is not now and has never been more than a witness to the shooting of Mr. Arbery. He is not a vigilante. Roddy did not participate in the horrific killing of this young man. Mr. Bryan has committed no crime and bears no criminal responsibility in the death of Ahmad Arbery. Brian's attorney, Kevin Guff, spoke outside the Glynn County Courthouse last night, as you heard there. He says his client is innocent of any crime and voluntarily submitted to a polygraph test. According to the police report on the shooting, Greg McMichael told investigators he and his son followed Arbery because they thought he looked like the suspect in a series of break-ins. Brian was listed as a witness in the report. Guff says the polygraph shows Brian did not have a conversation with either of the McMichaels before the shooting shooting, nor did he have a conversation with anyone else the day before the shooting about criminal activity in the neighborhood. Polygraph tests are generally inadmissible in Georgia courts, but Brian's attorney says the results could be used to consider whether to charge his client with a crime. Guff says he's shared the results with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. The attorney representing Arbery's family, Lee Merritt, says the McMichaels chased Arbery for several minutes before the shooting. Based on a reconstruction by the New York Times. He believes Brian was involved. He recorded a man being murdered. He didn't flinch. We're going to continue to push for the arrest of William Bryan for recording and participating in the ambush of Ahmad Arbery because his family deserves justice. And a judge from outside Glynn County has been appointed to preside over the trial of the two men now charged with Arbery's murder. That's after all five judges in the legal circuit where Arbery was killed recused themselves. So far, no court hearings have been scheduled. Reporting live in Glynn County this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.